Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Cop pulls man over for best anti-Obama sticker he's ever seen. It's priceless. We've all been there. You're driving down the street when suddenly the flashing lights of a patrol car glare in your rearview mirror. Your heart beats faster and you swallow hard. But one pickup truck driver, who was pulled over not didn't get a ticket, the police officer asked a favor, if he could take a picture of his anti-Obama window sticker. According to Liberty First News, the picture was taken when a pickup truck driver was pulled over by a cop he thought wanted to give him a ticket, reports bizpackreview.com. Turns out, the officer just wanted a photo of the anti-Obama sticker on the guy's cab window. The full window sticker sported a sticker of Barack Obama's face and read, Does this ass make my truck look big? A play on the question about women's apparel every man has nightmares about. There have been stories of police officers pulling motorists over to give them reward citations for being good drivers, and good-hearted police officers using their power to educate motorists on good driving habits instead of issuing traffic violation citations unnecessarily. Truly, the power to make a motorist stay rest partially with the police officer involved. But being pulled over because of a political statement displayed in your window only to find out the police officer who pulled you over is a fan of your stance? Well, that's a bonus. Political free speech, whether in the form of a bumper sticker, window sticker, or literal speech, is guaranteed to each of us in the Constitution. We could, if we so choose, display caustic and mean-spirited messages on our automobiles. In fact, many liberals and progressives do. How many cars with gore or carry presidential campaign stickers on them also sport Bush lied, people died or Bush, worst president ever or Bush, war criminal bumper stickers. But it takes a modicum of presence to couch a political statement in humor. We, as a nation, have gotten too thin-skinned where almost every subject is concerned. We are offended every five minutes and expecting everyone to kowtow to our grievances, their free speech rights be damned. Perhaps it is time for the nation to trash can the politically correct time offended routine and, instead, put on our big boy and girl pants and realize we actually do have to share space with those who think differently than we do. To that end, maybe we need to reconstitute our collective senses of humor. Hey, it might be good for a laugh. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.